all of our mouth. Hebrews chapter 12, beginning of verse 5. I think he starts off and he sort of goes, Oh, there's something like Christmas at the top. And the son of God, you've forgotten the exhortation of the priest of me rather than the children. Say, my son of the spy of my father, chase you belong, were faithful on the rebuke of him, for whom the Lord loved me, chased you, but ensured that only son of me was in. All the son of the king forgotten something. He's forgotten the exhortation in the Old Testament. And so I speak to the child of God, the child of God, and says, my son, my son. And my first of is going to go up to the one of them that you would have done. Uh, saying, my son, remember to it, what it is now. Uh, whom the Lord loves to chase, he can destroy you, every son of him to see. Now, uh, some of we preach in this on a false uh, picture of the uh, uh, Christianity, we want to talk about Satan and uh, pushy big bachelor now, fellowship with God. We have a right to say what we say. I mean, Paul says to the Christian, if you live out the flesh, you shall die. That's what the Christian. Yeah. Not a killer Christian. Uh, you read there, Mr. Boy, if we start a quiz called many clips, too many among you are sickly and many sick, uh, weak and strong sleep. Okay. Why? The other people you judge yourself, they cannot be judged. For we are judged with chasing the Lord. Which, you know, the true God's child, and you do wrong, you get a whip us. And he said, we forgot that exhortation. But then he goes on and says, For whom the Lord must be chased, and he struck with every stone and you receive it. Now, I think there's a that to a dog that's chased just and scrupulous because of love. Us. Oh, like I heard this said one time, he said, I wish he could love me so much. <laughs> And what then the first thing to say, he says, you know, it's going to be a cause here, don't get yourself. And nothing's saying it's going to look to you because uh, you look after the flesh. The verse said, if you look at it there, it says, he scourges every son. Right? Well, that means the good one will go to the battle. You say, well, if I get a quick with a stone, I have done all my stuff. That's kind of on credit. <laughs> That's in case you come on. And uh, this brings up the greatest problem in the Bible, and the Bible is the greatest problem on earth. The greatest problem on earth has always been, and those things think I'm the final people think about it, but the greatest problem has even been uh, somewhere there. He didn't take it on out for a journey. But the greatest problem on earth is saying, why would the rock is stuck? The first book in your Bible was written was not the book of Genesis, it was a joke. The book of Job was written in 1800 BC, about 300 years before Moses was born. And Moses writes, and Moses says, and again, God created the heaven and the earth, but it's what form the Lord God upon the face of the people, so forth and so on. He writes that thing in 1500 BC. And long after the Philip took place in 1800 BC. So he almost looked into a bottle of nothing else. Now, Genesis records the things that happened in the first days. Of the first written book that was called the certain book of Job. And the book of Job, the theme of that book, is why the light is stuck. You know what the Lord said up uh, for the devil about for uh, Job? He said, uh, he be moved yet, he destroyed him without a cause. Look at that. I've got to confess, you're doing all this. He said, I have no cause for doing treat Job like I'm treating him and you because we will do it. When I used to play one of you know what I did, because we are just can kill And your contact went on. And I said, probably got to take faith. You think, well, and if you don't believe in Satan, don't believe in God, you never figure it out. Well, the things that are going to happen in this story that I'm trying to why you are, you are not going to be able to figure it out. This treachery stuff happens to you. And that's what that thing is about. Now, we all know why uh, wicked people stuff that anybody knows about. When Paul got out there and went and got on that ship right out there, uh, he called it, he was putting a uh, uh, stick on fire, and a viper came out of there and did it, then we observed him. And they all walked from the fall down there, and he didn't fall down now. And you know, when, when that serpent fit him up, up, up the egg and he's on the island, he said, they said, oh, come on. He was spoke well of state to see, but caught for him all I mean, the vineyard, so he must be a murderer. The court. If any unsaved man knows why bad people suffer, 
You take out my mouth too, you have to come off the ball, you knock him off the high, and don't have a same command. But my antigo, they call to the black man. And we see that in front of the other line, and we treat the third line with a joy. All right. What do we do? You say, my Lord, all the same, but then you should sell a mouth for it. Will you sell that? You were saying I'm not took what condition the people are in without a Bible, without God, they still don't like the law. And so he does it wrong, he pays for it. So when a person gets sick, first thing they think is, well, now what he's in the law. And they go and go and get the family ash, eat these guys off and die, and made a couple other African can you play up his readings. That's simple, something you ought to read. That's AIDS. That's Ebola. That's Delta, that's leprosy. You know, they think of this flock. And old Joe was sick, how many ash he eat? He spreads in his flock of sheep that will be properly. Your wife just cuts him out and said he first got out inside. And was turned to turn against him. And his friend had turned against him. But he got all over the top of his at the bottom of his feet. He just had a very thin children in one day. And he never had been that. Very thin children in one day. And the Bible says, well, not having to do old Joe, so the enemy shot and not foolish with his head. He said, the Lord gain, the Lord taken away, the Lord said, give an angel. Yet all this will be not slim of God for our food. And the wife came from him and said, curse out and die. I said, how can we play and be right going through this? Obviously, you're a little like the devil, this will happen. See, see, see? That's how we are. Come on, folks, maybe. Are you going to go on the And some of God gave me, what did he do wrong? Well, maybe he did something wrong, maybe he didn't. Now, I'm going to show you tonight why I'm good and watch the people who love God and believe the book and pray and pay the bills and love the Lord and suffer. And uh, you need to know that. Because for that problem and such a terrible problem is what creates atheists. I think you create atheists easy, just use your head. I'm going to look at here. How many folks believe God is all powerful in this field? And how many folks believe big God of love? And this is a man. And why did you let it go on to go? We said, what? What drove really on? Well, the dead paid it to him. We flushed down the toilet, put up those garbage cans, and guy coming home dead and on fire, putting chicken, basket fish, and gone when they go on. And your mother would give godly woman died of cancer four years, fifteen years ago. Why? If God love, you call that love? I said, you make mages. Make this over if he loved, he, he stopped this death. Unless he could have stopped it. In which case it would be all out. So you just throw the blood out of wonder. I sway you your head, man. You're real smart. I thought you make atheists like that. But the world will leave with you. That he will take them or not. Now our text here is uh, in uh, he was got the of those five, the books of our eleven, and being the whole of them having something like this, as well as you have forgotten the exhortation, the streets only you out of the children, saying, My son, despise not thou the chase of all God's thing about the incident. You're some true responsibility. Number one, don't pay and don't respond. No, that doesn't exactly when the kid falls out of the thought and gets to you, or you lose your books, and you've got to shut up the gas and water, or you get fired from the job, they can't pay the bills, and God back you and whip it in. Don't do two things. One, don't try to be no good. So I can play about it. I saw people, what was the action? Well, you can't tell that thing at home instead of forward with the thing of the battery. You know, I was surprised. I'd be less determined to know that. Don't you that? Number two, don't faint. Don't quit. You say, well, God fall through with it. Well, no, I don't have a chance. I'm going against it. And then quit. Well, the truth is free. You can't do those things. Or you just take not thou from the of any of the four of the trace which was stripping every sound of your sin. You won't read it. He said, if you were your trace, then God did you with with some. But what's not the thing that all the case was not? But we need partake of the fast with the world all of the victims. Uh, then your children are gone. If you're not partake in your fast with them, not some. In fact, when they children God's trial, God Jesus to put it through, they got your daddy. And God the good daddy. And when he's looking at two, his good daddy does two things through his tears. He loves them and he works. 
Now, there's no this possibility of thinkers and poverty and thinkers that don't be judgmental. I don't see that. Those folks are not as a profound fire. You know, there's all kinds of this poverty. No, you go run against this love. Give me the short. Yes. It's kind of tender. And you're all working with a few of them and defeat him and do his story and you mess him up that way. Well, you got saved about a good father. And he's going to give himself the line of power. What do you mean? Now, uh, generally speaking, now this isn't too far, but generally speaking, folks up from the north tend to do up for the kids and how uh, loving they are. And down the south, they're full of love and wants to spoil them and not take them around. Generally, here it's second. It's generally that's where he lives. But the Bible says, when my mother and father forsake me, the Lord will take me up. It's going to have to be a mom and a dad. Let's find another thing. Yep, yeah, too much. Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> and it's written, my mother and father for Satan, the Lord will take me up. I think it's written in one place, and as, uh, as, a, as a mother comforts the children, so will I comfort you. Another place is that, like the father pitied his children, so will the pity them appearing. Which keep God for good father and good mother, both of them. Uh, mother and father, not father. I hate to inform you about Jerry. I don't want to know it. They're not the same. You didn't marry like women, you already were not out. You did that. Cool. They're not. I've had about 10 children, 14 grandchildren, because they've all come up with two or three and four or five years old, and boys are not like girls. I'm just trying to help you out, sweetie. <laughs> if you were about to tell me, you can throw you off and bring you back to your son like this. But they're not the same. Yeah. If you ever see a little boy, you know, getting uh, a little boy with a little girl, you just ball out the paper of my mama for not doing something, doing stuff along. That little girl, you know, with glare at her, you know, and the fly punch, she just cry like the harsh grip. And that little boy said to him, no. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. And that they're not the same. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you may, this is trying to be a big shot of one thing. You sure are like them telling us. Uh, God puts you in a position where you can let the man make the decisions. You can let him be head of the house, and every time he goes along, it's his fault. <laughs> Amen. 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 That kind of gives you a freak. And the way that thing works is a woman, or my mother thing, there's so many differences, but many differences between a man and a woman. It's pretty simple. If when a woman gets under real pressure, she has a terrible time making a seat. The last person I'd want in a box hole with me in South would be a woman. That'd be the last thing. If you have to mother get pressure, I had to, I had to talk to me. Or some big underground thing, the bomb, stainless steel, kind of. Room way area 51 thing going on with all aliens and all that kind of junk. And I thought that kind of some woman. Yeah. <laughs> well, a computer, a bunch of push button balls and screams and stuff. And a colonel comes down there, he comes up behind her, packed in the back, and says, You're looking lovely this morning. I mean, she goes, And I'm going to the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just getting with here. Um, you know, you know, a man will do what he wants to stop somebody to the bar so <laughs> He stops the bar, gets up, and he gets the bar so he can luck out. <laughs> and if don't bring wine, man, won't take his bar. I want to. Oh, I think we have a whole. Oh, there. You found the Soul County, but I'll watch the wheel. The old brain goes I want that little bit small. This one here is Oh, I can also touch it. 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 Oh, I can also that's something that happened to me three times a year. I'm not talking about accolades. Three times a year. Well, that's conservative passage. It might be closer to five. But three times a year for 50 years. That's a good number of times. For 150 times. I've been going to some more airports on the New Mexico. Eventually, I'm going to try to carry and run another 440 and two seconds. 
and God don't like to oh, open your honor all to those people for the gate builders. And I bought them all. And our family go this way, she was that way. I go this way, she was that way. I go this way, she was that way. And she goes, oh, I'm so dark. I don't know if you're playing on that. You know what I'm talking about? When you want to do a man, or he'll you know, shoot you soft like this, and you know what I'm But the essence got that much, and both of you always want to put it. Because the guy goes, oh, this way, see, then you go this way. They go that way, then you put all those, the water. Like the thing with the ladies. Now they do. You know, she'll see, see a woman kind of get a little bald, especially the divorce one. Some woman about 45 years old, kind of raise a kid, you know, about eight. And I put that down here. She put that down here. Jenny, how many times did mom tell you to put that down? Jenny, I'm not like that. Jenny, mom, they just don't have to do She didn't mind that. Sir. And I'm not trying to get her stuff. But one four times. I remember got my all my boys to my big four. Well, I got a couple of them in my gold surprise and kept up and went them about this three. Well, he had trouble on my stool. And uh you get that bad grade and I blame him for it. I mean, you got to take the chink or side, or the foot she saw. And I uh, did, yeah, I did. And it went well on and on, and he kept saying, oh, Daddy, he's up to the church, and he's up to my church, and so on. I said, that's all right. But then it, it happened so much, but I thought, oh, I always did a great thing, it's very much interesting. So I went out of school, up to school. Three boys were in the public school, three through the whole thing. And like that battle at here every week. And you take a uh, one down Methodist, this guy was killed, uh, Mike Peter, and he was up briefly. He always stopped. He was out there. And uh, one third of the class, the uh, class they had lunch, we stepped down the hall, we don't talk, we said, we see the money for lunch. Well, it's all these fellows, all these hot and white, and all the tailing and the and whatever, and you know, little school. And the dope hit me. I get around. Watch my stuff all yelling back there and screaming and jokes and stomp. That's what he came. Well, I said, this teacher, I said, they'll tip up a chart and show them. And he said, well, they're about to run I said, don't you want to call? And he came up and he said, show them. <laughs> oh, well, look, I said, go ahead and you know. He said, please be quiet. Think it honest with us. Oh, Emma? Oh, man, it was the crazy second drive back. I said, You want some kids' club? I wish somebody could do something. Richard, get out. Stop that. I'll turn around and put some other. I think that. I'll turn around and put some so that's me. So he was the father and she said, Oh, my poor dog, oh, my poor dog, he needs to be sick here. And the son of a cat came coming back with the mom of his dog and they stand there and uh, she said, For up and so she said, The box, the George of all the thing is, why don't you do something about his fear? Well, no, you're about his fear, ain't you, Bert? And, and the little boy said, You could have said, Oh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but you don't know what you're talking about. Men and women are not the same. But if you've got God, you've got a good father and a big bird. Oh, I'll take you by and let's see why the light is up. This is by and during the first star, second Corinthians, chapter 1. Second Corinthians, chapter 1. And second in chapter 1, we're down at about verse 2 and 3. And you'll find the first reading 
I want to don't let you suffer. It makes you stupid, but that's the first room. The second room. Not the one. Most marine boy. Wants to be the God of all comfort. Who comforts uh, us in all our first of trouble. We might be able to comfort those that are in from the trouble. Now, we realize about the insiders, all that we have noticed, for the minister. And the Lord tells me, I think you're going to need some comfort. He looked to and keep people to have some comfort. And in order to get comfort, you're going to have to have some trouble, be something stopping. And if you're going to qualify as a minister, you've got to be able to comfort those who are any kind of trouble. You might have said, you get poor, sir. Any kind of trouble. You realize what that covenant you know the trouble people can have? You know, I've really brought the ministry. I have a very peculiar uh, idea about the ministry. Of course, it's my platform. I mean, I used to be up on platforms, and I'm on a platform. I used to have a bunch of people ahead of me. Uh, now I don't know the play on I used to yell at people. I used to yell at people in the pulpit. But the people I'm yelling at for, I'm saying, the guys on training to kill each other. They're all young men. I'm trying not to kill each other. I make a single of a scout and use a fair bang on the side. It's a good practice. I've got the, I've got my, I've got my, uh, I've got the t shirt that are ripped off or took by the fan from boxing on the honor these fathers. And by the time you've done that three and four years, you, it, it's hardly got any blood. And the first couple of years, I would see what I can do the contest between me and the domination. <laughs> And you know, just to realize, because I was wishing we were bats and bees. Yeah. And home free. And paternal cancer. And mother get tumors. Losing the jobs. Friends they couldn't pay. Doctors couldn't pay. Kids and oxygen tax. You know, saying, take away mom, take away muscle, take away mom. I saw one on one line to drop up, she got to the table, find the she won't. You know, boy, buy a high table meeting. Being apart from the fame when it stopped, and very man, she got in favor and take that boy. He's about four years old. She's taking on the water. And I'm looking at him and looking while we're eating, man. I got all shakes. The stopping turned to mama. Stopping like mama. Mama, why do you refer to mama? Won't you? So, I put the guy. I'm not a guy. I'm an LC, chief, uh, LCI, and a kid, a kid, a kid. Plays like a uh, DJ and normal. Go for that, you know. And you say, well, why do that stuff like that? Stuff like that. Well, if you run a minute, and it's too long to get inside the clip, you will help anybody while you're on this earth, and you're going to do anything more than just be on. Animals raise things. If you're going to be, if you're going to be a comfort anybody, help to anybody on the you're going to have to go through trouble. Because they're going through trouble. If you're a minister, you're so any kind of cup. I don't like that. I don't like that past. That past may be worse. I've been in ways a lot of good. And here we can have a preacher here, Donnie Preacher's translation, you're pretty fun. But you haven't been to grow up there, you've been to I've done, I've been to speak to you. He's got bloody about the life of the ministry. I've been with people of whom I actually like the pain and finished after the while. But some of the people I'm going to have to deal with. The best thing I could do is just sit on the good side and dry well. up. Not to do anything else. I know the verse is on. I can show you every verse in that book for just funny fellow thought you got. I know what it is. I can turn to it and read it. I'm just supposed to pray. I'm just supposed to pray the best side of a dying mother, a dying father, a knocking child, somebody sleep, the burn of a camp. I want to know what to pray. I know what to read. But you just stumble me the can of each. I'm a lady over in the the old mobile all about. And she raised two boys. All three fellas of the months and scholar trees and whooping golf and all that made over, you know, chicken pots and got them up and both of them got saved. Both of them all the things one over two of them. And she prayed to the saints that they got back safely. One of them about twenty one of them was twenty two. And both of them felt called the three. And then went off to Jake right north of Stone and all the Fort Worth. And then one he called over there when the ice and the dark beach highway. He gets cold in the North Florida, April. I mean, 10 degrees. That's lost out. Not, not a lot of sun, but 
I mean, in a year, two or three times in a year. And he gets fogged enough to take two foot rear loads in the back. And those two boys were coming by for chestnuts in a car and got hit by some junk out there in the night. They had to go for one bit. My woman ran those kids in the front of her face and the time they were 22 and got into the home. They were all sold up in the front of And she was safe. And those boys were safe. I've, I've, I've read you were my friend to the hours. I better show you. The shot that I can do, this worked out, I get her life out, she don't need a mind at The most worthless thing you ever met into a life is a priest you've never been to. I've got these little models. They stink. I said to you, you can be what you want to do. Ain't bother to yourself. Learn how to bother yourself. Develop yourself, shut your off, shut up. Amen. Come and finish the field of power of poverty making. Dear Dr. Peter, I've arrested my melody by the granting jury, so says to be murder my one of the fields of all right shows, and I wouldn't got a grown to our wife and shoot. And he said, What shall I do? Dear so and so, think beautiful thoughts. <laughs> Life can be beautiful. Every power has a silver lining you look on. Uh, yeah, something else. Bless your old dog, I've got what Hugh Bottles represented in the Christ and said, Peter, I'm going to bring some Peter. He said, Paul is a pickle, but Peter is a Paul. It's true. I mean, dear Dr. Peter, my name is Tinsier Paul. I'm stripping an eye blood for a living. I've just got to say, I want to ask you a question. Should I have a leader's job I have or be a witness for I am? <laughs> <laughs> you like back and so dear church here at least bubbles with a familiar to see. Uh on your coffee, the body is beautiful. You can start God is a ready testimony of where you are acting. Oh you created this stupid ass. You know what the one you know, you can find your head in your pocket. All of them best of punk. Mind me, this companion is from his own England. A wreck, a bunny, a bunny, a bunny, a wreck. He brought me there. He did a great deal of the muscle, so he only just enough to waste food. And I got the bomb in that church. So I said, I say, a little walker, would you pass the speaker a bit louder? I can't hear you. And I saw he raised his voice to a whisper, and I don't know about 10 more minutes. And the guy got the bomb to us again, and I say, I hear him, would you speak a little bit louder, please? Incredible. About three months later, he dropped and said, I say, and I'm a lot of men down the front row. Now he turned around and said, I say, oh, what can't you get off? He said, I can't hear. He said, well, thank God, I'll sit down. That's how the system can't do it. We have a famous little bit of a called Charles Parker. I want you to talk about all the national education council, national Christian councils, number one world council, ARIB, bloody is murdered in all that young. One of those typical fellows came out of Japan after World War II and preached it more. He preached over there, and I found out later, uh, after that same a friend of mine, an old lady, was coming here to make it. And he said, Pop the table, I am preach, and preached to her. Oh, you got please. And when he preached to him, he said, uh, he gave invitations about a hundred of young studies. And this friend of mine, he said, well, my thing is, well, I went to the gap, we get them interpret. And I said, you won't tell them what he was preaching. You know, he was preaching, you know, about addict tension and how to live under stress and <laughs> how to cope and share with others, you know, I, you know I, I'll let your wife run the plant. And all that kind of junk, you know, a Charles family, you know, Chuck's window, Johnson, he put with it. And he go up right up and did nothing about it. Salvation all. And he got these shit. You didn't tell him what that thought. All he said, no, we found out to you. John Martin, you and I can sit with the bond of another thing. You'll never make me think about it. I'll just like you, sure. I'm going to tell you that trouble. And when you can't chew your trouble, there's all the way to suffer for you and not trouble. Is it easy? I want trouble from these stuff, but I'm going to be trouble for you. Well, I don't know the story about how all the people got together one time and walked for trouble because of the big pie. And their idea was to trade troubles. 
a guy come up the farm a couple of years and he was swapping off to a couple he didn't ask because the two bucks of him tossed. But I don't trouble her. One by one lady, one by one all in my marriage. One guy, my page was one guy to go somewhere else. And they all bring it off trouble there. And the, I have a yep, the yep goes the next morning, they're all back there trying to get the old one back. And the reason why is it was saying you thought those things you were a priest. If they have the trouble he gives you, now, I'm on the thought in these things. I'm, I'm on the spoiled spoil gifts. I don't mean I really. I'm the same, but I always saw this thing that joke in your pipe. I'm one of the Lord's spoiled gifts. And I think a lot about what you've been doing, people say about you, young. And this life of fellows, you might not want to be long. I mean, I think they could be the ass for them. I'm not so well sloppy to spend that to it. But then again, some of you people sitting there tonight are going to the place. Undoubtedly, I know where you are, and I know you are there somewhere. You sitting there tonight, some of you people going through a thing, you know, I wouldn't have grace to get through. I'd probably go well, on my book, I'd live like you with. Now, uh, brethren, that's preaching the truth. Amen. I did not find a cherry in the bag and share a bunch of it on your own belly, no idea. I've lied. And God, he promised to give you grace to talk about that more later. Or now, if you have a Bible, let's take the second thing here. The second thing here. I'll be called. We call it Hartesis. And the two taxes on this. Paul was praying to get blown out of the power of the Holy Spirit. All the power of the Holy Spirit. I don't know how I'll be resurrected. And the Lord said, see Paul Brady, he kept on pressing, he didn't get the answer. And I thought I read that passage there, it's got Hebrews 12, verse 10. Hebrews 12, verse 10. He changed his love for our prophet, so he might be made partakers, partakers of his holiness. And Paul kept praying for the power of his resurrection, you know, and he wouldn't get any answer. And finally, he tells the Lord one day, he said, I took my mind in this prayer. So the Lord said, We're not praying the whole prayer. And the Lord said, A thousand of the whole prayer of God. And the Lord said, Well, read the rest of the verse. Pray with the rest of the verse. You know what I'm That I may know him, the power of the resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings. Be made conformable under his death. At death of two spirits. We frustrated gospel boys don't talk about that. Don't do it. That's right. You send your money to me, you'll get rich. That's it. You get plant this seed of faith, and you become a millionaire. You're so and so, and they get it. You're so and so, and they get it. You may help them walk in wide, you know, you won't be sent to you. I think we need all this stuff, and rather do this through this, you know, give him, meaning give him the healer. That's the new prosperity gospel. You make an investment by the stock market. That is the gospel. The gospel is Christ died, negative. Or sin, negative. Was sorry, negative. Rose from the dead. Or man was supposed to be living in iron, soft, negative. And take the cross, negative. Pardon me. Oh, I thought such a money fine with American Christian wrong thing. Didn't all think he followed me on the honor of Christ? I think we did. We did the ball through more like I walk and other like I walk than an example. All that meant is that and me, Jesus Christ, might first go forth a pattern of walking with flowers and then the trick by my hereafter. Also, in my life, the pattern for the person, the father. It is. No wife, no house, no church, no school, no insurance, no great block. You call it success? He said, I'm going to up on this thing, see. Well, the success is plenty of money and plenty of you and plenty of good health. Not the hell. All the ship on the way. Try to position you. Who do you think, who do you think will go to the ass? If we don't. Luke said, we want to control us. We want to uh, we, we teach with Paul. Why did he reform? Come into position. Folks oh, a lot of We get more that way. The only suddenly dies in jail, gets the dead bill off. He says, only order is with me. My doctor. 
Well, that's success. See, Mark got all, got it all twisted up. What they've done is, there's a uh, movie here, you know, John Grisham, years ago, four, four years ago, about Bert Rabbit, you know, and Bert Bears and Bert Bears and Uncle Amos. And the song that for was if they do not, if they day, and one of the songs is, uh, accentuate, positive, eliminate the negative. <laughs> well, then you're gone. You've got to ask negative to do anything. And the stuff is negative. Who wants to be partaker of this stuff like this? I mean, my flesh is a little bad. Oh, I put my flesh in like yours. Oh, yeah, too. You came out of the floor to get a negative piece of wood and make the bad folks make fun of me and die in the place. Oh, you should go to bed. All right, so, want to follow me? Check your balls. I just want to follow me. You do all the power of God, you're going to have to hurt. You're going to have to stop. I was seen it. I was seen it. I used to watch these old Baptist priests, but most of them are all gone now. The old time of preachers that preached, uh, they really have the power behind them, all born in the 19th century. They weren't born in the place. They were born in 1880, 1885, 1890. They all did that, but all gone. I'll be Dr. Baham, Senior. I'll be Theodore Hill. I'll be Bob Young, Senior. I'll be uh, B.R.L.A. I'll be J. Frank Morris. That's the book. I got to think about that one time. I, I sat down to myself, the Lord, I said, well, what, what are these stuff from which 19th century about? What are they? They got some computer stuff. These young guys don't have a lot of young guys are good preachers. I ain't back to good preachers. I was really good preachers. Let's draw off the good preacher. But those guys going back in the air, they just, I don't find them about. I got to hear several more about it. I'll uh, tell you, more of that trouble with my mind, and the Lord said to me, well, think, I'll be afraid of those songs. I said, be perfect for me. I said, cast the sword. You know what you do? You make a lot of hell for them, you can. You know why? So it gets the family going to walk in. That's why. You know, I have a little car and say, stress, stress car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm in stress. <laughs> All your planes up to the break, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's me, 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 now let's do it, uh, I think so, I can't go up, I can't go up, I can't go up. I just don't think God. And I call, all flat to his face, I said, oh, what do you I'm like, said, what do you The conditions you train men under are never as bad as really straight on them back to the way when it comes. So I will love you yet with them, the better you prepare them, and the more uh, generous you show them, the worse faith you're doing you get a shot. No, I, I'm a, I got a friend of mine, I let Christ get me to Stuart. Money easy, got it on me, grew up, threw down, uh, all the room, and uh, the other place up there, fire siren. And he got stayed on in Hawaii. He didn't even have But I ate And when he got stayed, the next day he came on the drop in and called it to do it. He said, Now, first thing I'm looking at you, now is that I trust this Christ my Savior, and you should do it. <laughs> Told me to stay with Fox Paul. His captain called him, called him and read him out. And he says, there, oh, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, sir, no, sir. The captain said, You can't, you, who do you think you are? Where do you get your orders from? He said, Captain, you get your orders from Fox. You'll see, I get my orders from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, You lost your mind and sent him to a shrink. And the shrink worked with him, got nowhere. And he came back out there and said, Now you're going to get caught, Marshall, you're going to behave yourself. I forbid you ever again to say the name of Jesus Christ on a And Stuart said, I'll make a deal with you, Captain. I won't say it if nobody else said. Shut that to the phone. She's me. I'm not even trying to go with Maureen. I'm just talking to me. And we're talking to Pine and the Secretary of Law, 115, you know, Gulf of Georgia, and Arizona, and Carolina, and those places. And I thought I'd have my big out there, you know, it was some 5,000 a day, until the time they were aware. 
when they come in while they're gone, even when the fire is up, they will pull off and, and tear it. They're going to throw it around and throw it to the floor. And then shot the wind and jumped up to see me. You're up to about 140. That comes back to the open door and they go, 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 you know, cost me this who did this, who did that? And he'd step in and say, the bad fairy. And folks, I was trying to believe when the tree field had his bad fun about it. Yeah. I know you're trying to get sore. He'd come up and say, you want that buff of you? So long. Care of you. You want that one of your candy cane? Yeah, come down to the plant way. Next time, put your sock on the side. The short side for come and keep them getting filled. Or take her to the top of the no way to let have the power gone and you without supper. Call. Call your dad. I mean, quick. So, shipwreck. Did that lead to dive up? You know, it's not stretching off. None. Oh, I'm going to have the power coming. I've got to find the for you and Bonnie Tuck, he's been on Tuck for about 20 years. He left the box for a long day, and I left off the office because of the plan for something. And when we passed by the town, really got on me to talk to the Bible, he was with his pride show, he and all that stuff. And we got going to go ahead and find that guy with my black, and he said, well, if you're such a man of God, what are you doing on Christmas? And my buddy said, well, if you're such a man of God, why is you on? He said, well, Mark, the spirit filled man, he is suffering. Not a big fat bull. Took to the mirror. Like me, this. All right, our taking in the supper. We had made to so uh, 15 years old. He wasn't free for a lady. His name was Father Mash. Father Mash. He wasn't the captain caller. He was born again. This lady lived his talk. I was called Father Mash. And Father Mash used to pray when, uh, uh, when the man Charles Finney preached. Father Dash would get on the basement of the church, and he would preach and play all the time to preach. No wonder he had the life. And somehow, one time on this town, he was in the tongue pilot, and that pastor said, He said, I've got to know what she got, so I was proud of her. I've got to find her, I've got to find somebody to pray by, and he gets that power for her. So this fellow got into a hotel on the act of the and got in there through one of the yeah. bell boys, and she got the Father Dash in fear. I can always say, wake up a bit early. He came in about 7 o'clock and sat down there on the bed and continued to work it. And uh, this dog under the bed, this or in the bread, once he had some fucking eating bread. And he sat there for a while, finished me, kicked off one boot, he skipped off the other boot, didn't play. The top of the bed said, Yeah, Christ, come out, no break, come out, I'll break again. Yeah. And a couple weeks passed by, I didn't really. He did the old man and turned on the gas line with her and lay down on the bed and didn't pray. And the fellow was next to me, kept praying about it, pray for us, it was bed. And about 30 minutes later, he heard Father Bad say, Good night to you, sir. He did pray all the time. Not out loud. Before he left the bed, about 2 in the morning, he wants to come out of his street. It was about two o'clock in the morning, that old man got up, he had off the lights, the bag was gone, and he couldn't sleep. And he'd get up there, walk out, look him back to the foot lock, had a hold of those awkwardly arms, and he'd say, Oh my God, how much better this is than sin? Oh my God, how much better is this? I'll shake up your head. I should swear to a man. But that's not like these mother carried letters. I got a Bible, turned it to the lock, and shot the priest. And this was probably the most disobeyed commandment in the entire Bible for a modern American brother. And this is Colossians. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. You have this case here. And this case here is all talking about the Christian being dead. And it's like the kid of God is Christ. And then Paul says to Christ, he says, look down there, set your affections. That's what you love. Sets its new Bible text up in mind. But better love than anybody that talk about some more experts. So I think about what you love. And he said, set your affections, that's what you love, on faith of the book, not to faith on church. But the most disobeyed command the entire Bible for American Christians. Your affections are down here, up uh, there. Get your wife down here. You hear chalk cooking on it. 
You got any effect to shut up there at all? Some of you birds if I gave you a sheet of paper right now and ask you to write me down the number of things you're affected to shut all up there, you have to open your Bible look at it to find what they will be. <laughs> your affection is on it, but down here. We're preaching about it, about that. Sometimes that figure make the habit of making a, a God of a minister. Lord, we think the most important thing in the world is our ministry. Our affection, our ministry down here. I know it's connected with up there, but it's not up there. So I'm, that book says, set your affections on things above and not on the kids of But God, we need you. Thank God, it's a faithful ministry. You found what you were saying. And the thing that are soon the And the thing that are not soon are eternal. Think about your congregations and forces and souls. Keep the bodies. They're going to go with the tires. Slip that? Slip that. Would you name me right now the things of heaven that are in your affections? Christ that laid through the table. Or when you strengthen the thing when you're off the off soul, they are affectionate. I've seen that thing. I don't know who one's gone deal with other down there and pat them and attach to all these things. And go to his wife, just going through a terrible thing, and a little boy, he feel about 10 years old, and he died a terrible death, he could be that close. I was talking about the soul, and the woman said he was sick, she couldn't shoot up car and car, she couldn't go on talk, and I just talked to the man, and he wasn't saying. At least he said he was. He said he was. I said he wasn't saying, and uh, I talked to him and talked to him, talked with him about it, and uh, he got mad. I am going to bring the drop to stop the potential for it out of here. He was talking about a boy, why they kill me? I think it matters the potential to get better. Man. We went a good while, and I gave him a good bit of scripture. I didn't want scripture from him. But he just got mad and mad and mad. And I got mad after a while. I was talking about God like he talked about it. But I kind of lost my crew. I said, What's any God's disappearing until you get the heart in the right place? Green to the love. If any God did that to you, your heart never been in the right place. And you're not going to see us on the fall again unless you get saved. And you pick him up there so you get your heart right to see him again. And I thought this broke down. He got a cry out of it. He got saved. He was about 50 years old. He just couldn't say it. Hey, listen, you got to touch that's what they do sometimes. I'm an agnostic. I'm a, well, maybe, maybe not. Just mad at God. He was a, he was a, he told me. I'm just, I'm just, man, it's God for sure. I got to stay in my last 50 years. Father, oh, we got out of that man, woman, down there, they were down there, they pray together, and it's like God for what happens, and I'm going to God like a God. That thing was love. That was love. Set your affection on things above, not on things of the They were all the Shinaba day of early preaching, not it was great preachers. And he preached uh, great uh, on the second morning of God. He well up over 90 now somewhere. So kind of draw me on. I don't fall on the Lord and things ago. And uh, I've heard preach many, many times. And every other Sunday he preaches, this is only Sunday open morning. He always teaches on the second morning of God. You know why it is? He got a little girl in our city. I mean, it was joy. I think he ain't captive. I think to that to order on the time. So he's my important just intro. A little girl in the field, and he, want, he wants to see them. So it's on his mind. Years ago, I got saved, you know, back in 94 and 9, I lost the Bible University. Like I told you, I went there because of the Cleveland Blaze. I was disappointed. It was this around the Cleveland Blaze. Thank God for that. And I got there in the first time the chapel thing, and I came to the chapel and sat down, and it was an old choir of God. And then some guy got up in his car off my place. And I sat there and I said, My God, and I just left this. <laughs> <laughs> I get my mess again. I made up my mind I wasn't going there again on Sunday. Every Sunday came, I leave campus and go up and back with Carolina and the Sunday church had been on the Christian. After a while, they invited me in to preach for a while, but most of the time, I was up to the church right here in the back room someplace, kind of fireplace. And I was driving one day up near Cutter in South Carolina. I went by a bunch of scripture trying to hear that. People in the Bible. Here. Boom. And they were shouting in there, boy, and running faces, and they were swinging off the candle here, and God knows what they 
I like family prayer in the park because I want in my prayers. I'm all built to the block. Uh, three or four thirds of a hundred men I'm all praying at the same time. I start with seven women of strong, strong, one gallon of red neck corner up to us. And, and this big old red neck coming down here, about six feet three, an old farmer, and he said he didn't know me from Adam. And when he saw me on that land, he picked me up and grabbed me, picked me up and hugged me and said, Go ahead and come, brother, and threw me down on down the <laughs> I said, this is the place. I'm the wrong church. <laughs> so I can tell the I'm going to pray and not be at sight of this church in Columbia, South Carolina. And one morning I came in there, it must have been about two years later. And uh, uh, he did. He wanted to write this spot, found out to be pretty in the wall. Uh, did not find the tree from the tree. On the night he had this come up to draw a picture. And, he passed by me about came down the steps to about eight steps. He went fine. He said, uh, never forget the rough He said, no, you did get me iron in the boat. Boy, I saw that full on him. He did You know what I'm saying? He was saying, your congregation, preacher, they might get as on here as you are, some of them, but none of them get past you. You're the limit. If you want them to get better than you are, you're wasting your time. You'll have to get better. Amen. No kidding to get an iron book. What about this one? I'm leaving this one this Sunday. I'll have something wrong. And I don't know what that didn't take a day on. But everybody was weak from the crowd. And I could tell a lot of people snuffle all the way. You know, like when it's terrible, I can, I can, I can figure out. I don't know what. But something was playing wrong. I came in there and sat down and took my place. You know what? I'm not too much. Because he's doing the fight to him and preach. And he preached on us and paid it on mine. I don't have to get that message. Now, I didn't find out till later what a copy. But that Sunday morning, he wasn't going to come to church. He was going to stay home. And what happened was his little girl had been killed by a drunk. Hit their car, his wife was in the mental ward temporarily. He had medication to make it there for a shock. And she was there in the mental ward, and he was a uh, drunk for the funeral. Or drove us in the girl. And Psycho told me later that I not came to the funeral and never even apologized to him for killing the girl. So I thought more well, like smacking out of my life. Anyway, when I came in there, it was very warm. Mm -hmm. uh, I came in with the thing and Psycho was there. But he wasn't going to come that morning, but he came late. He came almost an hour later. He came after Sunday school. I waited to do that Sunday morning when the last time Sunday school was coming off, he was shook on home and people started and so on. And mad we got. They said, God, why didn't you listen to me? I've been here to preach you already. I said, take care of my family, my children, go home, go home, let's take care of the girls, and I've got a long free show of speed, go out and tell them to get tired, they got the money, you know, take one and show it up. I can't face it, I can't face it, I'm not going in. You quit. Otherwise, you can tell me it's like that. We call that sock and the locks are going, but I don't come. They said, come in. And the thought came to me in English, uh, Horace Sandberg. And Horace Sandberg, I'm the truck of the metro car, but the first time this happened, he'd be around 90. He was almost about a 19th century preacher. The old mountain preacher from North Carolina. I see his chauffeur up there, he's about 80 up to 90. And we don't know it. But, uh, I could tell him, I could tell him, you know, a North Carolina preacher anywhere. I've never heard my nose like a North Carolina. You know why? Because every doctor or priest up there in Carolina followed or tightened himself after our sanctuary. Those guys are like it below. And Homer Smith, and uh, Phil Keeter, and uh, Sammy Allen, and um, P.D. Gawler, and Harold Sanctuary, and Carl Ike, and Oliver Green. And May Jackson. I could tell them anywhere on earth. They covered them in high style. And that guy, he was some character, that's book. And he came there and uh, said, Boy, Harold. And he said, Morning, I'd love to do it for here. Boy, just came to see you. What you want to see me about? Nothing. Well, come on, see me drive down to 80 miles from Charlotte because the look at me, see, I bet. So I'm sitting there, boom. I was starting out the door, and, uh, and Harold says, what you put down to your door? I said, hey, man, look at you. 
You come up and down and come back for more than that. So no, no problem. So I stole down there 80 mile miles to look at one preacher with Java to bring the trim of that room. And there I go. Watch his eyes. Small off this place, and got his body, and came to church. And got to church, he preached one morning at church, from some plain all morning. I like it, I just thought I preached for a very money, and going back like and checking on them. I remember his first point was, I'm learning, but I've been losing too hard, and something for the church. I'm going to be with the Lord here in my days. He said, I'm going to turn around and stop him out, and I'm going to follow him up with those family friends he has, so it's like my best. And he said, point number three, I'm not at all thinking we're together to give and love God with the caller card either. I mean, he shook that thumb and gave it to And he shook the knee and the wind for it. I was dry in that place. I was, I had a fight quick many times and said, I mean, of course, to find success. And he had another so many Christians in the election. Every other song. And he said, well, I've got to respect you, God, of course. I thought. Wants to see those others. Our disciple one of those fellows went over and I preached properly. He used his voice properly. He liked to ruin his voice before he finally run out of grief to die for him when he's free when he preached. Uh, Jesse Emily never did learn. He had to use a microphone device and you would life and his voice was gone. I'm the microphone out of here. It break it mess up the vocal cords that don't breathe well. But our body is straightened out the time, so it didn't ruin his voice, but it's still a as a husk it is to it. It shows how Bimmick had gone on the way he'd been going. And uh, it's a quite interesting break here. Let's go. You don't get that. That's me being the whole thing. What's that? Well, I'd appreciate the best story of what's going on tonight. About 207 nights in there. Be waxing out of the bell. You were saying, well, then I said, go, come by and get some of that handful of perks out there in the field. And don't you worry about old Harold Sycker about getting along or getting up. Every time I get down the mountain, the Lord comes by and just gives me a few handful of perks. But uh, I don't feel like preaching tonight. I feel like shouting. I think I will. And they jump on my book and go, you got to do the five blocks, man. You get right on the neck and you show us up. You fuck with that GI, get a practice from your RA, the GI, the Sunday, and run out there like you own the world. Why, you ought to be so thankful that God be a salvation. You ought to get called down this book right now on your hands of these things. Amazing grace. I'll keep this down and save the rest like me. I see 400 people come down and just drop the floor at the floor. And sing, I mean, it's great. Sing, I'm fucking it. Watch this. I heard how to get up on my knees. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to preach out of this parish chapter in the Bible. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. For my son. What's my son? Sir, the mound of the farewell of the Ephesians. The elders of Echo Sister. What happened? And he said, Yes, sir, that great chapter, that great chapter of all the work of God, second chapter of the truth. Well, what in the world can second chapter of the truth? Well, it's a lie. Get it caught, the hell. Like it. It's carried apart. You know what? Got that in his mind. He's thinking about his baby girl. He wants to see her. I thank God I've never had a look at many children. I've preached many a child street. I hate the police. When you take a little old boy and girl with time on the bounce, they go one, two, three, or four, and they survive the men. All they know is mom, they go once about it. Those boys and girls get about 18 or 19, they see a little of life, not much, but they've got some of it. All those types, you know, about the little club, 13, 14, 18, they doesn't know what the moment I've come to stand. It's too old there, to hold up, to hold up to hold something terrible going on. It's bad. Bad, bad stuff. I like preaching. It's never had. But I've seen God. Sometimes we pull the mountains to heaven and fetch them in the land where we pick them up and carry them off to the power of eternal summer. So, Ma, I get on the right track. Ma. I would never have to me. So I got 10 feet of 14 rain came down around the barrel wall. But total time, I won't believe that either. The total time of me and 
my wife and the ten children and fourteen grandchildren there total time all together in potholes. Since I got first got married back in, when I was 21 years old, including my time, at least three months. Well, 20, 25 people. I never had a bury one. But I sure, I sure won't do it. I think my church one time and anymore. Find this love the Lord, please. Well, never miss the church. Never miss the church. And they came down and home born with born to an ambulance. Before I talk about uh, the heart flu disease, that child got to be five years old and died. Little boy. And right before he died, a year before he died, uh, a little baby, another baby boy was born to him. And he was born with a hole in his back about the size of a half hour. And he was about, so I think, about something like 15 months that he died. When that little boy died, the, the second one would come along later, the younger one, when he died, uh, the younger takers. Help of the club and came by from the war or from the hospital. I don't know they come in, but he came in to pick up the body and take the body off. And that little boy hung by that little baby, allowed him to bring it on the ground there on the trial. And I tell her, no, I, I better shot him in the cold door. He came in there and just left in an old cell, looked like a comic bears, and put him in there and slammed it, kind of like the park with covers. So I told him, so the next time I'd better go, since I'm going to get him. And sure enough, the little other boy got, I got me five years old, and when I had an option, he died. And his body wound down the bed, and we had to turn the book back for two hours, and then the guy was coming to get him. And the same guy I sent, I went in the floor, I said, now, folks, you stay here. And I thought you would stay here, so he was going to do what the record is, the right of word on. And he said, oh, that's my job. I said, no, it's my job. But don't you put your foot in the house. And we evidently saw the look on my face and decided to stay outside. So I went and got that little baby to come out like, you know, but find it. Took a hot bread, a little pack of it, then card, or hang on some heavy. And that was on the third of the forms when I was about three months ago. And they come to church and he shut up and about the four aisles around outside. And the end, you know so? Every time I picture about heaven, they, you would see William Bowen, not see William Bowen. I had been part of it. They stayed in the lot of it, but some of them looked like I'm supposed to more. You know what? Heaven was real. It ain't real to some of you. And especially if you remember, your pastor went down there to school in Pensacola, Florida, and Burry Harrison, and Pensacola did the last you think well, you might say you you give them a twelve fifty dollars an hour from down maybe five dollars an hour. We have a joke down there. The fresh get pants full of nobody knows. Yeah. He's a man and bomb out the whole kind of stone with fifty dollars on the band. <laughs> but boy, can you get preaching about heaven the second county? There runs the patient, boy. Not old men. Young kids. 60, 70, 80, it's real though. Yep. You know what's real though? So they're making four and five thousand an hour, they're cockroaches all over the place. Some of their wives are sick and they can't pay the bill, and my heart's in the right place. And yep. you're then? Mm. God may have to do that. I hope he does. Sweet. It makes to make you, to make you heavenly mind. Well, sorry. Make you heavenly mind. Yeah. God may have to put you to that. I hope he does. But if you feel Christian and love to God, please the book, go to church, praise, tithe, read the Bible, and sometimes take the truth. He'll do it. He'll do it. And not because of sin. Not because of some terrible back in the day. The heart is in the right place. All right, now we'll get the other end here. We'll take one more down here. And this thing here, and he, uh, this will be God makes a good Christian public to show him the defiance of the God, say what they mean, the name of his way. <coughs> Heavenly promises. Now, we also be with the promise in the Bible. We'll take, for example, Philippians. And I will take, uh, Philippians chapter, uh, uh, four. And 
13, 19. Those are two of the biggest promises in the heart. Oh, Lord, ask you be the promise of God? Yes. Yes. You be God of the faith and God of all our Yes. You are the God of my own. You want to be God of some of my people. You be God of you, that I'm sure. And I would say that to you. But what's come to show? Uh, sometimes I want to go out with you, but don't. I mean, you never know. So I think the Bible didn't want to do for my profession. It's more real than my skin is. And yet sometimes I said, my foot, did you go on the book? I'll give you a I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Fuck, amen. How many ones I promised him, amen. I'll do that to you, I've said, anything, do anything you should do through Christ. If you could read the Bible through the prophecy we are here, you can do it. If you should give tithes and all things above the tithe, you can do it. Pop out of heaven, though. Give me promise to you. See, we say, everybody, we get out of bounds and do it. And they say, well, do I or don't I? Come on now. I can do all things in Christ. I can put up out of that. Put a car to the to the kingdom of God. How can we have to do it? Do that to me. Jesus. Oh, oh, that damn thing is so good. I'll get this to him. My God shall follow your knee. Do it with his walk on the I didn't say it's part of your agree. It's part of your knee. Two of the quick act on that. What about smart kid, Ron? When you think about two or three, Daddy, uh, we want some ice cream. Daddy, I want some ice cream. Six years old, Daddy, we need some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> we saw that little, we got chain there, the grand lady, you know. The kid got you thicker now. <laughs> and he knows that if you think he needs something, he'll get it. And he also knows just because he wants something, doesn't mean he's always going to get it. So he switches. Put the plastic. Crack the little brain. I don't mean for me. Figure what I'm about to mean. How a lot of stream films, a lot of stream films here. Yeah. I need ice cream films. I need not to get it. Come on. All my little grandsons and yeah. well, come on and bottle up the grandchildren. That's why they're called grandchildren. They look like a crack each other. I'm the guy again, ain't it? God. Go up to Carrick, um, he's turned on the wrist to the he's on the line, go eat, he talk with all the way over, stop, say it, man, ding, ding, what? We got to keep bringing about the all about the money, and then the little brown eyes of like, what, the black chocolate, fox eye ball, green looking tracks of a king dog. The little boy, about, oh, about three or four years old, he lied my court the church for a minute, and my two girls were in the front of the back, she blew, when this was great. Rachel at times about 10, and Justin's about 3 or 4, and Gus was climbing up something. I'm trying to keep my mind on the steering wheel, you know, this room is in the back seat. I don't want to crack. 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 And, and, and Rachel found it on me back. She could do better than his mother. And Rachel's all this little walk. I'll take his back. I don't want to crack. And stuff went on for about 10 months. And I said, shut up back in the back seat. <laughs> and, 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 and Rachel moved right away from the steering She well, I'll read the book for him. I'm 14, 15, 16, but I'll get out of the one. I'm my man, I'm my life, I'll get the one. And I'm having a ration to not do it. Yeah. And, and it's going to go to, I'm on crack, and I saw the ruby, and I was going to wait a bit. Yeah. And I said, one more time, I'm going to smack somebody. And then we got spoiled down. And I watched him regularly. And then he got against the back there like this. And it's it 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 Watch the get on there going, that hell on the drink, try to go to sleep. All right, Mr. Clear, that hell on the drink. You're not going to have a drink if you go to go be going to buy one more night. Look, that hell on the drink, shut up back there. One more time, I'm not going to come back and whip 
the sun enters. Today, we did come back. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Paul was backslidden most of his ministry? I love backslidden. Uh, do you think he wasn't tired of going to church? Is he forgotten the witness? I don't think so. But that's the spouse that's going to change me. I was having a hard miss telling something. But you don't have no idea how difficult it is to stand up here and write something while you're saying something else. Find <laughs> something. Try to recite in John 3 16 when you're writing down home at 6.3. I've done what I could do it. I wouldn't want to do it. I used to be that. Like, um, and that, you might remember, you've got to get full things off. So you're not. You have that. When you play with that, bring your plan up. Hey, Siri, fuss. Get going. Every other beat here. Pray to you, Siri. Fuck me here. But R is thick and that's the life. Yeah. I'll take the Bible and every time we're here, that's the choir. I'm going to start it. We'll wind up where we started. So let's make it good. We've got a better place. Not the square, but let's look at the Giddy Quick. Second Grunt. It's from the Second Grunt. And second thing is chapter 12. That's the rest. Yeah. And second thing is chapter 12. Paul and God are fixing to burn heaven. And see the revelation of God wouldn't let him tell about it. Because Psalm 2 tell about the way. And he gets caught there in heaven. He gets stuck in heaven. He sees things that's so awful. The man just thinks out of the mention. Take care of it. And then when he comes back down, he says down there around verse 16 and 17 and 18. And it's of the abundance of revelation given to me, that was given to me a thorn in the blood. The master of Satan. Satan got the mission like he did to work on Job. He got the mission to work on Paul. A thorn in the blood. The thought was he's all the love now. So one of the reasons why I call people suffer, he's wrong boy. And he says in another place, he says, Paul, he says, my grace. My what this name try to kill What will he do? Why? Oh, I my grace is yet to say, but my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will glory to my infirmities. Not too bad. I'm going in my informant for the infirmity why they come to him from God. Now the devil the messenger, the devil does a dirty work. But God, the God who gives him solution to the human And he says, I glory among the buttons. He asked God three times. But this was not a thought for three times, twice. It might talk to me and he said, Oh, oh, he said, my grace. My grace. Yes, yeah, especially for me. Now they come off that long after the morning of faith. Uh, I am the Lord ever put on one of your morning you like to eat. Then he can give me life. But I'll have to put it down all along in what you can't take. That's not scripture. But it's scripture. God is, I'll give you grace sufficient for what you go through. And I saw all those crazy verses. I believe that. I've seen it. I guess the fact that I testified on the show that I wasn't believing. But that meant me. I've seen that in others. I see this little thing of anger, but honest to God, I don't see how they were got to them. I really don't. I'm, I'm surprised at all of them who commit suicide. He sent it to fall us. He's on a straight for six two, desiring to have the heart to be with Christ, which is far better. He said, for me to live with Christ to die of vain. I thought I was trying to get to all the life. No, this is you, he's technically bringing him to heaven. No, I found to be careful to get that much trouble. <laughs> But we end up being able to ship rights, you know, and beat the law to a day of night like to see all that kind of stuff. He wasn't trying to be careful. I know he wasn't trying to be terrible when he was always in my Bible area when he was over there, uh, preaching over there at Aiden Meyer. He went one bound there and they took him out and, and feed him. 
And they let him out there. That makes the only one to do it. He got to Iran, how many other did it? And the God that part he came to, and the Bible study rose up and went back to the city. And what he done to do? And that's when he went to Wayne Law. Now, what is it about? Well, I'm not sure for say. The scripture is talking to me. I knew a man about 14 years ago. But the other body, the body, I cannot tell God knows what sort of reading. Second Corinthians 12, 1 to 4. I knew a man in Christ about uh, 14 years ago. I wasn't reading the body out of the body, I cannot tell. Such a one was caught in the first half of And they heard orders to get out of the law from the water. Of such a one I will go. But if I stop, I will go. Now, why did he stay with he said, I don't know what's in the body, out of the body. Well, the soul was caught up. That's what's going on. If the soul was caught up there, and he, we started to look around, he still was caught up. He said, Boy, isn't that something? Fresh and dead, no, no, it ain't. He said, I'm a thief, or it's no thief. But there's a body over That's a soulish body, so it's pretty much 15. But the natural body and the spiritual body. And he's come down to that place, and he come down that place. There he had watched his death not old. That one part of the while, and he was dead. He was out. And he came back. And his action, when he came back, so when he got to, he comes it back up where he came. He said, the devil. And she's my picture. He's after the body for the Lord of Fair looks out there. My God, look at that. No sin, no fall, no death, no suffering. Everybody happy. He held his feet and prayed to God. And then Stephen, hi, Stephen. He said, by the gun, that's what we they killed him. Boy, he said, bless God, home and lives. Well, it's back out. <laughs> what? Back down. You mean, back there with this got stone? Yeah, back down. Oh, I, well, how about let me step two months up? Two months? Yeah, oh, two months. <laughs> yeah, two weeks, two weeks, no, bad, two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, you can walk through you. And he opened his eyes and there, blood floss, the blood, all the stab, scar tissue, and me with my foot on, and smelling camel dung, and camel around him, or a hop there. It's thick. And my blood burst at him. What? Back in the heel. <laughs> Don't go to the family side of the family. No, I mean, I've always been able to get a lot of white folk. It's too spiritual. I've been in the bottom. He's always got the victory. You know what I'm saying? I thought somebody like him to be arguing with him. He's always got the victory. I like Starlight. She's always never worried about nothing. Always the part of the duty. Gonna work out. Gonna work out. I know you've done, woman. He just does all things. You go wrong. You're too far. 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 you yeah, people still. But you take that business up, the going back from there. God, I said to Paul, I said, Look here, Paul, you tell what to you going to live by faith. You tell me I can't walk by sight, and what about how can you walk by sight? God showed you that. He didn't show me. Tell me, you tell me how to do it. Well, that's all I have to do. That's how I think about those things. Now, I know why God does that. Let me go. He can trust me. I've never seen that place. But if I ever got up there and saw it, and had to come back down here, I'd be passed out tracks there in the middle of the interstate. Get over get over get over get over get over get over get <laughs> All right, this is my grace. My standard made perfectly with you. I see a Christian that I got by my church all the time and a crazy vow. A book of Jersey Shut. Fort Shimani is from Moscow, or that so. We went around and beat up things to leave. Not bust a bone. Black women and spring and stuff and all that kind of stuff. We got full of tell copays, but he doesn't help. We got a very little bit of a very beast. Very gracious, and he had some of the women put him on power to the wall, and the practice taught us and fussed with fight and smacked up the way to the rails, and then to get past the wire I had got to the fellow on a hotel territory and sued the hotel, the money board. 
And then he got saved. By the time he got saved, your wife was bleeding with a breathing chair and freedom all the time and puke it all. Get him on the hair of that, put him on the strongly club, and after a while, then he got strong enough to not go home. Hoy filled the day, and all you wife that was more people. And got saved. When he did his wife, picked the prince and left, and the daddy cussed him out. So I leave the priest with me. They were hanging his stuff, and he got all my book called Full Cup. And bring up the seat. They shall have a funny of uh, the real day that he came to Colonel and stole. Our fate, he should have been a wheel. The other wheel was ready for the state of Chopped up. It was too tough for his own to talk him on. Why should at least try crooking? Right? Just give him crooking, get it off your spiral column for a while. Well, I don't want to be a this hang on people, I'm not people, I'm old, you know. Well, come be a actual house to the night for. Oh, five years. He saved me. Tries to push for me. He goes to the way. I'll talk to the young, young boy. And then we got this fellow off in the drugs. And he couldn't get it again, put it on the street. Then we had to fly him out to Houston on the plane, but I like this killer. You know, he got me to come back to the place He was always with the third night. Now, the old line here, brother, up in the end, this honest killer, straight into the arrow. He got a bad arrow. He's only spreading himself when you won't think something of him. I don't think of it. And I walked to that drive, walked to that dock, and he tried to get a gun, he came to the with us, and he went there, he fought him, flung him to the door, and the FBI, and I called him, and he went to the sun, drug gave me, like, all up on back to jail again. You know, sauce. The true grown boy, the dog, white dog, daddy against him, still hung up for a kid, he shouldn't have gone much at all, and then began to wear off. And love the Lord, and try to sit up, you will sit there at the car and say, of course I know, but I'm not going to go out soon. I've had a fake of mercy. And I wouldn't give it to you. But when did my God, you get in with me? He's straight. He's straight. I don't have to do this. I can, I can live two months on two hours and pack. I could stuff it in my house. That's what I didn't even get in that. And he's still trying to serve God. He come to his brain, he came to Brent twice. Trying to get that gun. Wiggy Bell was talking to some well, and these two black guys from the church came by. Because that's strange when that church and those come from Dad. All we were paying off on it, so they came by, so I would have gotten the load. He's coming up on top of it. Shame what he was doing. Uncle Boyle. He said, well, all I don't do is tell like what you think of me. He said, well, don't do it, because I'm in five places, I'm going to sleep with God, and I forgot now. And if I did it, it hurt me, and hurt me worse to get the two bar meters to put it. I thought I'd be nothing to put it. I said, kick the bucket of light, wouldn't you bring it out? I'd have your food, and I said, good man, I wasn't warm up. Sure, I would. He said, why? I just had some experience. I said, oh, I'm a sorry, girl. Little this good in two shoes. I've been there. Look at all down the bank. You don't see how big a power pistol is until you point it to a face. <laughs> and you pick it right away and you say, I can see that there's somebody. Mm-hmm. If I went back tonight and found a great big gallows hunting and stuff, I wouldn't be thinking anything. I'd just be surprised he hasn't done anything. What's holding him up? My grace is sufficient for being a man. I don't see a house. I know so. You saw the Sunday guy at a big club. He had a big club. Great girl. He was on my style. He was a fair of metal. And they didn't go some They went from here to hang a couple of cars. They called him Uncle Buddy. And what a lot to follow the Nazarene track. That's right. And uh, but he let a lot of people cry. Sweet song, new song, very hearty, uh, very classic. You, well, and what a lot of them sing up there. Look at about 50 boys on the <coughs> up in New York. And Bob Roberts is always out of Texas. He never seen his building on the banks of it. He'd been about 20 stories high. And he went to New York when Einstein was for the trial of the room. That's the government. Got the Empire State Building. 
But back there, oh, shall I need a power to put the sun to look it up in the air. <laughs> and, and you go down to the tea by the fence and said, Dear Lord, I just want to thank you. I didn't see nothing of that I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> and while we were there, it was caught some traffic and some dumb came fairly full traffic at about 45 miles an hour hit it. And knocked him up uh, 18 there. He changed me down for the dog and ran over and began for a the brakes. And old brother wine in the pool, the book of ankle hook and the grease crush, the one, uh, the boat box stuck to the stuck in his ship. And the other arm broke. The line down the ground, I pulled the blood, but the priest who saw it was chasing that by a horse and first one cursed the driver. And as he unbound the blood up the blood stuff, I dozed off track like no one extra full toss that way. But then on the belly of the streets, but I thought he was just like, don't pay I step come, I didn't pay it. I said, Oh the blood when you were the boy, were you poor? He said, well, we poor, we were full poor, and only ate one meal a day. He said, it was good to have two. He said, well, he said, for breakfast, we ate food, and for dinner, we drank water, and for fussel, we let them go out. And they took him up here in the hospital, they're kept in the hospital, they cut him there, and we got him there, the young men got to cut his clothes off and fly and floss right all over them. And I'm you, uh, what kind of, what kind of occupation you you didn't know, old man. We have not told about 54, and he said, well, I'm a preacher. They said, well, you know a patient, you can preach him out before you get out of here. They put him in the, the cold down room. Back in those days, there wasn't, wasn't a lot of drugs like we have now. And they leave him in the parents in this town of the so the doctor could see him in the morning. And a little pop pop across the morning, the priest came through there. It's three months, it lasts all you know. Some of them are exhausted, they all had to eat my own all the way to see burning candles and something like this. And he looked hard for this place and he said, uh, uh, Son, do you want to to confess? And he said, Yes, but I want to confess Jesus Christ in my faith. Glory to God. He said, I can keep my case. Anything else? <laughs> and Buck said, Yes, but I want to say he's late. He'll be sanctified and through a whole door. Boy! Oh, we shot out of the left one or two or five. Understand the game. One o'clock, all the way o'clock in the morning, round come the doctor. He took the bubble off and he said, Well, old man, I go a little while on. I still eat and sleep until they get your ankle. Let's go a little while on. It's January, he said, Then we can't shake it. He said, We could, but he probably couldn't stand the place. And Buck said, Well, I still would keep going ahead and try. And the doctor said, Well, I don't want to be taking a crown. And Uncle Buck said, Well, I don't test him. I can do all things with Christ, but great and amazed. My doctor said, well, I don't know what a Christian is. I'm an atheist myself. But it's a few days of work to trust. So to make a long story short, we're working on the bus. He comes in here about every other day. And warm, the lamb of bread, nothing possible. The girl who stole the slain. He takes his scarf and straight up on me. There's no answer. You know what? Well, I'm there. He passed in, passed out, and now comes. And he's about to go and lose some members. Yeah. The first time I got the table there, he said, uh, he said, I'm not going to call it up, but you're not going to do me good. He said, I'm not going to be bad for me. So I just want to tell you something. I love it. And he said, I want you to live forever and never with me. The doctor said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, That's the word. He said, Well, I'm going to tell you something. That doctor come in there and said, I don't want you to live forever and never with me. He said, Yes, 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 all the doctor time for. Three weeks, that doctor was sweating all the time, his face scraping my fingers. A certain point there, before he knew all the stuff about him. And before he speak when he's doing, he said, Go ahead and God, but we got it. <laughs> <laughs> and we put him up to the hospital. We put him up to the hospital. That doctor met him at the door. And Michael said, But I don't want to see something from you, Bill. He said, What that? He said, Do you still love me? And he had to do. He said, he on how you live for him and He said, yeah, I sure do. And he put it all on and bug and he said, you bust. He said, he's staying here. I didn't do such a thing. It's pretty. I'm back to work with him. I got the best for his. And he said, I sure like him with him. And he got silly. He said, you know what Bud found out? He found out my grace is a pain for me. I know I've got people in my family who know more about 
uh, I can do all things through Christ to strengthen my life. You will read the hearing details in this book. There's some books about the council, but you got a way to pull them from the side. You ain't going to get them on those books. I saw them. Now, I don't want you talking about that. You know what? I know about her. I know about the martyr. I was watched a lot of with all old, some being 18 martyrs. I don't want that to say I don't want some shit. A lot of the Bible, I don't care about here. I don't. You so, said, well, my flesh is the bell with this. I know what God was saying to me. But I haven't got the, the guts to preach it. He is saying, what can all do thee is we? You don't need your family. You don't need your help. We, you don't need your clothes. You don't need the things. You need we. And the book is saying, all you need is God. Be all sufficient. Well, I know that applies. That applies for what fire is. I find myself in a uh, dog cell somebody or solitary with no light coming in. Made the call, but we like like my mom did and some of those others. And you were naked the cross and all my clothes torn off me and nothing deep, but I'll God gave me the grace I need. Well said. Did you believe that? Yeah. I say I do. Oh no. Don't know. Here's Paul. God would be God would make a mistake with torn him out of my mother. One day. Get the words. Or it's like a slave moment. While I take this, I ain't take all this beef, and I don't know about that ghost to get on it and bother him with a spawn of flesh. Would you please take the storm of flesh out? Out there at the cage, I'm not trying to get out of the sea, but middle of the stuff, you wind up, have to tip, dip, walk, put it up, and so I thought, I'll yeah. do this. I ain't taking this beef, I ain't taking the star, and it's just like all this stuff. But boy, let me talk about this spawn of flesh. If I could build it out, I'd be a better than a strike. I'd be more free than I have more results. I won't have to touch my sin, I'd build my sin. I don't think I can take it. Um, I'm not asking this for my sake. It's the Father of Christ, the God of Christ. But would you please take this thorn out of my flesh? Amen. Third time. I don't know what it was. The sun is all pretty wild, but somewhere. If you look at it, I may do my ship like you see, you know. She said, if it's out in the, the Scotland's out there, the rice on the island, sick to bed, the feet of the bitch, all in the I said, it's fragile. And first to be afraid he'd die, and they find me to be afraid he wouldn't sit. And blind man, I said, Lord, I ain't think that this is well on hard. Oh. But boy, I want to let's throw him in the place. And the third time is about to reach over the mountains to heaven to come, took that phone in about an inch further, and said, Paul, Paul, my grace. And that word was not factless or anything in sin. He was a consecrated, dedicated Christian and earth. The Bible says, the Lord's church is dead with his son, with I do not know why I ought to be. My hope is all shattered, many of the easy God's perfect plan, you know, I cannot see. But somewhere in me, you'll make it plain. Someday, you'll make it plain to me. Someday, when I expect it, I'll see. Something from tears I shall see. I am the something I shall hear. I am the living. I must know the depths of love that move the farmers are the ball. My faith to kiss, my love to prove, but someday. Make me fight. Someday, we'll make me fight. Someday, when I'm a scarlet, 